Well, Professor Jin, welcome to Sydney. Welcome to the Lowy Institute. Thank you. We witnessed last weekend a very important uh, summit in California between uh, President Xi and President uh, Obama. What, what did you see out of that conference? What, uh, what were some of the practical things that came out of it? Mm, I think from Chinese perspective, uh, we achieved quite a lot. Uh, before the summit, the uh, high-ranking officers in foreign ministry made it very clear. We have three expectations. One is personal friendship between the two leaders. And I think we establish, they, they establish some understanding at least. Second, China want to uh, have a clear response for China's uh, the, the new concept uh, initiated by Chinese side, so-called new type of major power relations. Mm. And, uh, uh, and uh, we, we, we think we get some uh, positive response from the US side. And third, uh, China want to have a mechanism to make the differences or dispute under control and to explore uh, the uh, opportunity for cooperation. And uh, uh, we also uh, believe uh, they, the two leaders achieve something uh, on this uh, respect. Mm. Let's focus on that one phrase, a new type of great power relations. Mm -hmm. what's, some, what's the subtext of that phrase? Why did China choose to introduce that, that phrase into the lexicon? Okay, okay. Uh, I, I think uh, China aware uh, the, aware of this fact. Uh, now China's GDP ranking number two, mm. and in the history of the United States, the states always take a very alertive attitude to any number two countries: Germany, Soviet Union, Japan. Yes. Now it's turn of China. So uh, China want to avoid the uh, tragic. Uh, uh, relationship between number one and number two. Uh, so I think that's the immediate uh, concern to escape from that uh, tragic circle. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, how to define this uh, new concept of uh, major power relations? I think it's a, a practical issue. Depends on the future policy of both sides. Uh, at the moment, uh, what we can see is that both leaders agree with uh, this point. We should avoid direct military conflict. In order to achieve that, we need to have more contacts to set up some mechanism that can put the differences under control. And the second, we should try to explore more uh, cooperation opportunity. Is it also perhaps an attempt to create uh, an exclusive club of two, uh, a G2 of great powers? Uh, I think both leaders are weird. Uh, G2 is something politically incorrect. So nobody wants to use that term. Right? Mm. Uh, but uh, I, I tend to see uh, both sides want to have a real so called concert of big power relations. And just lastly, you're here today uh, for a roundtable discussion about uh, territorial disputes in the East China Sea and the South China Sea. Did you see any movement on that issue uh, out of the the Obama summit last weekend? Mm, unfortunately, no. <laughs> you know, before the uh, summit, the US side put a very specific uh, five issues. So different from Chinese side, the Chinese side just put forward three expectations. Mm. And the US side put five very specific issues. Uh, that reflect uh, the U.S. is very commercial-oriented nation. Mm. <laughs> they have uh, five issues on the table. North Korea, uh, the uh, marine time dispute in Asia, and military-to-military uh, -military -military contacts, mm. and uh, cyber security, mm. then climate change. And I think except the marine time dispute, all the other side, we have achieved something. Mm. <laughs> but just on this uh, key issue, I think no progress at all. Mm. Professor, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Mm.